Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy in our giant war against the Soviets and whatnot. Um, we had a crash at the end of the last episode, and... Whoa! Okay, I was just saying, this is from the most recent autosave, February the 1st. We were on February the 16th when we crashed, as far as I can tell. Um, but this autosave is wonky! I mean, as far as I can tell, nothing's... Oh. Wait, it... What? It loaded me at... Did I accent? No. I clicked on this. Look, I'm supposed to be Italy. Load. Let me try that again. Okay! That was weird. Maybe... I mean, maybe I accidentally clicked on something weird in the loading screen. Alright, so it is February the 1st. Um, let me actually make a hard save here. That's not an auto save. And, alright. So, yeah, we hadn't progressed as much here as we uh, we had before the save. But things still seem to be doing well. Um, the... What happened? Have we... Okay, <clears throat> these border guard um, still have to be assigned. I think I'd split them initially, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign them all to this North African group. And then in this North African group... I'm going to grab some infantry. I mean, it's not my infantry. But, you know, hopefully it's still halfway okay. It's mostly going to be a garrison-style infantry. Make a new group. And ascend them to the Soviet. I think I grabbed eight people last time, but that's okay. And your job will be not to garrison. I can't really set up a front line. Alright. Screw it. Go and garrison area over here, and then we'll figure out what we want to do with you after. Um, Marines. You guys see if you can't reinforce over here? This we're holding okay. Despite the huge numbers here. And yeah, if we can stop them from getting foothold. Although, oh, that's right. That doesn't count as a straight crossing, does it? Uh, da -da 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 -da, night, night. Yeah. So holding this is less good than we thought. Because I was like, oh, well, we take Crimea, and then we'll just be able to hold out forever. But no, this is not a straight crossing, so... It's just regular crossing, which is not great. There's our logistics division. Okay. And, again, I'm going to get the next level of logistics because I do want to start researching the tanks, but I'm going to wait until we get the research um, advantage for it. We are going to add the logistics company to everything because apparently we had enough support equipment for that. And... Uh, the Marines. The Marines I'm going to hold off with. Because I like the Marines being a little bit lighter. Um, okay, you got pushed back. We did get the reinforcements. Looks like these guys will still get pushed back, though. Uh, one thing I don't know if we did is take a look at our Marines. Okay, we have exactly 20 combat width. And I guess, yeah, we're going to keep it this way. We're not going to put artillery on the Marines. Because I assume, and I think this is true... Right now we got a 75% attack bonus. If we went, I'm not going to save this, but if I added artillery there, we would, yeah, we would be losing because artillery, in fact, you know, is, well, everything is bad at amphibious assaults, um, except for marines, and some things are worse than others. So, the, anything over here doesn't matter. Support companies doesn't, it does add weight, but yeah, I don't think they need any of that. We'll maybe give them hospitals later on, especially given the fact that we have no freaking manpower here, which... I should probably cancel the extra marines. Get in there. Looks like we have... We have all our dudes currently fighting. Can pierce one of one armored division. We have armor piercing? Hmm. Maybe they have relatively weak armored division is what's going on there. Okay, so we are going to hold that, which is great. And of course, we still have our reinforcements coming at this point. Pushing here well. Um, we've got our two separate fronts going on. Oh, um... Tank division. It looks like you might be able to reach here unimpeded now. Oh, someone did get in the way. Let me get you to join in. Okay, they did move in to defend. 
Although right now we have still a pretty decent advantage. Because it would be really nice to grab another port. And... I can't remember if we queued up some of these things. I don't know how much port stuff we need there. Oh, actually, the um, the next line of, um, of infrastructure got built. That really did not take very long. I should also check to see what the actual choke point is for our infrastructure. These are these, right? Yep. If we go to our supply mode... Yeah, I mean, the red is over the infrastructure, so presumably that is the, the choke point. I mean, I think there's always going to be one thing that's red. No, no, nothing at all over here. But is the choke point actually in this place, or is it somewhere else? 25% of previous infrastructure, local infrastructure. Well, I guess it's not red here. Why is it red when I mouse over here, but not here? I don't know. Still haven't quite learned to read this. Previous bottleneck, infrastructure in Sinai. And here... It's just not enough local. So we'll just queue up a little bit more in these places. In fact, I might go ahead and just like max the hell out of this, especially the one going into the Soviet land. Well, and along the south as well, actually. Okay, we can't actually build it here, I think, because we don't have enough. And F it. Naval bases don't take that long to build. Let's get a little bit of that. And then check our production queue. All right, so, uh, Centimetric Radar, that gives us up to level 4 radar, which I think we are going to build in northern France. We are definitely going to want to grab the Advanced Computing Machine as well for the research rate, not to mention the decryption, which is always huge. In battle, having a decryption at disadvantage is particularly bad. Okay, these guys did broke. But they broke, yes. English much? Uh, they did break. Um, I'm wondering if I should... No, I'm going to leave them in this battle group, because if ever they get rebuffed, then they'll just join the normal battle plan, and that'll be fine. But sometimes you might want to split them off into an, uh, an army with no orders, so they don't do anything weird. Especially if you're just taking one province. But here, I've got them queued to go quite far, so I think that's going to be good. If we take this port, we might really choke off the supplies over here. In fact, they might already be gaining attrition extensively here. We just don't have the intel to know that. All right. Special Forces, and then we will be looking for uh, the next level, which gives us a discount to tank research, which is quite nice. Meanwhile, okay, you guys are here. So, let me save again before I delete their order, because that's what caused us to crash last time. So you guys! Did one of you get killed along the way? Where the hell? What? But weren't you North African? What is with this path? All right, I guess we'll wait a little bit longer to get more people in place, but something is definitely going weird here. I'm wondering if it might be worth... Oh, it's already level 10 port. Excellent. As I say, if it might be worth buffing this port to the max to give us more supply in from the south once our actual front line reaches there. But no, we're doing okay. And we are officially out of manpower at this point. Which is very bad. So we will have to change our conscription laws. And what's unfortunate about that is... Um, anything else will start to hurt factory output. But we have no real choice. And yeah, that's the problem. Is, uh, we could change some of our occupation laws to get more manpower out of some of our existing stuff. That could be a thing as well. Now, how are the attrition... Actually, there's very little attrition. It's down here, there's attrition but none over here, which is a nice thing to see. And if we do manage to grab this port, I'm willing to bet the attrition problems will go away completely, which will be really wonderful. We are extending our front line pretty aggressively here, and they do have a lot of troops, but I'm expecting they're getting ridiculous attrition as well, which is one of the reasons some of these pushes are probably going halfway okay. We're being pressed up against Afghanistan over here. Special forces are done. Mostly we're here for the armored effort. And, oh, we are capped on um, on experience. The thing is, I think I'm going to have to just... I'm going to just soak this cap. 
because what I really want to do is wait until I get my 1943 version of tanks and then ridiculously upgrade them. Anything I'd upgrade now with my ground experience would just become obsolete soon anyway, and I don't really think I have to do any more division changes. Yeah, you actually don't even have any factories assigned to you. Is there anything we'd like to cut back on? No, because this, I was going to say, once the switches from reinforcements to upgrades, we're still going to need a whole lot of that. One of the things um, hurting us with the manpower is we never did get those uh, field hospitals set up. See, that's it's something you want to get really early on, especially if you're playing a nation that doesn't have infinite manpower, which means, I guess, anything other than the Soviets, uh, perhaps. Field hospitals let you save so much manpower and so much experience. And, oh, you can see here we did finally get rebuffed over here. But that's okay. We pushed in pretty good. We're still cutting off, I, I suspect, a lot of their potential flow of supplies on this front line. And now our troops are moving back, so we shouldn't get quite as badly attritioned. And that's going to be okay. And we can let them breathe for a little while. All right, pushing well over here. Speaking of well, there's probably oil wells we're going to be grabbing soon. Oh, already right over here. What does that imply for our trade? Not much. Bit of a surplus kicking around right now. Um, we'll be able to probably cancel more and more imports soon. I'd love to attack across here, but I don't think it would be particularly successful. Oh, did you? Did you leave over here? Interesting. You guys. I'm just going to give you a lower level general for this. Um, I want to be a little bit conservative, because I don't have, like, a huge number of dudes here. I mean, we don't really have supply problems over here, but grabbing anything would be nice. And actually, um, no, still come here for the garrison. That'll be fine. And we can keep our marines blocking this just in case. This is a choke point. And I think they can only attack from one province, so their ability to really um, um, pile on tons of troops is going to be limited. So there's that. It's not a straight crossing, but at least it's still there. Well, this guy's is actually running for some reason, which kind of surprises me. Why don't you prioritize grabbing the port? Um, I can't really read the number of divisions, presumably. Can I mouse over and see? Oh, yes, I can. Excellent. Good, good, good. We lost a submarine. Oh, no, wait. They lost a submarine. I was just playing a game as the Soviets, so... <laughs> the the flags in uh, in the... Uh, what is this? The Black Sea? I can't remember. I'd have to scroll down the list. Yeah, the Black Sea. Flags in the Black Sea, I was used to seeing the other way around. Like, I wanted to sink Italian stuff and keep my Soviet stuff okay. Next level engineering company is going to be handy. I do want to get more stuff over here. Um, but let's take another brief look. More hard attack and things on our regular divisions would be good. Um, more marine organization would be handy. Next level of mechanized would be nice. How's our actual industrial base over here? It is 43. Oh, no. So we can do all this. Let's get the faster construction speed taken care of. Please and thank you. Don't even know how our doctrines are going in this game. Probably really bad, because I wasn't prioritizing them as much um, at the start here as I should have. Are there really no ports anywhere over here? God damn. I'm still going to send some tanks over here, see if we can't get a little bit of a surround going on. Probably not. Uh, and over here... Now, these guys won't be starving that much because cities actually do provide supply. But we should still be able to stomp these guys. And actually, then we will get the chance to take the supply from here. It's only worth one victory point. The amount of victory points determines how much supply a city provides. But that's still going to be helpful because we are getting a little bit of attrition here. Um, we can probably move up our planes... Right. And see, here's like where the air interface is like, oh, wouldn't it be a little nicer to... I don't know what. But presumably, I had some other planes nearby here. And actually, you guys are over... overloaded. And if I take these fighters... 
So yeah, it's annoying. I can't cancel their mission from here. I've got to I've got to select because I want to make sure they're not doing anything in Iran. So I got to make sure to go to Iran. Then I got to cancel their mission because I don't want them to accidentally fly over here in So now I want them to be in the Caucasus region and move to the Georgia airbase. And then I want to be told when they don't have a mission. Actually, Iran Pretty sure the close air support, same thing. We can cancel you out. Uh, so again, click on Iran. Make sure you don't have a mission. Then take you. Um, yeah, we can't deploy you to the Caucasus yet, which is too bad. But what I can do is also tell you to go to Georgia. Yeah, you won't be over the 600, which is going to be great. Plus, I could also build up the air base too. Because apparently it's really cheap to do. Okay, we need these divisions to get there quickly. Although, we now that we have the port, as long as our, our unit stays there, that would be nice. But we'd like to get everyone else in place. There we go. Wings with no missions. Well, your mission is actually going to be to provide air support over uh, the Caucasus region. Thank you very much. Um, what is this? And send me two divisions. Okay. Does that show up right away? Oh, including armored divisions. Well, that's nice and spiffy. I think he'll just join up over here. How's the supplies? Eh, they're fine. It would be really nice if we could take uh, this base with a little bit more conviction. Add some extra angles here just in case, because that will help the supply thing here. What is what is this place? Best Arabia. Yeah, but what's the actual city here? Doesn't have a city? Just a naval base? I guess it's Odessa. All right, well, I mean, taking another flank of Odessa would be nice. I would love to be able to push through here and come over this way. I'm not going to do a naval landing there because it's way too well defended. Air wing with no mission. Well, your mission will be to fight in the Caucasus region and provide ground support. Thank you very much. Or, you know, whatever it was. I think that was the ground support one. Good push going on now between the air superiority actually having a good number of troops. These guys have been beating up pretty heavily. In fact, they're having supply problems left and right. Um, really, because they're getting, they're getting five... Uh, victory point worth of supply from Grozny over here, but other than that, what do they got? They've got, I mean, depending on their um, their infrastructure, I suppose. But other than that, there are no ports over here, so that's actually hurting them quite a bit. It will hurt me a little bit as I continue to go forward, but we do have this base, and I think what I should do, well, let's take a look at the supply map mode, and we're currently supplying this way. Do I want to build more infrastructure over here? I mean, one way or another, it's got to come through, so. Or is that, it's already capped? Or is that as high as I can go? Because of how much control I've got, it might be something like that. <laughs> and this can continue to be a slow push, or we could just cancel the push and just hold this. Actually, I think that's what's gonna happen right over here. So I'm gonna name this a different theater. This is, I, mean, I will call it India. And India's no longer going to be interested in pushing. Well, even, uh, well, I guess I'll keep that there, but I will tell you to stop your plan. Because I'm going to count on digging in the mountains to just hold this forever. These tanks are not particularly useful. These guys are pushing past the mountains. That's one of the reasons we're able to push back a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually really grab a bunch of the Alpine divisions here. I mean, there's still some mountains, but not as many. Grab a bunch of these. Tell you guys they're actually going to be part of this. And then when you get closer, I will take these um, armor divisions and move them north. So there might be a little bit of counter pushback here in the meantime because this um, attack group, which is becoming increasingly and increasingly misnamed. Um, is a little bit weakened, but I guess what I'll do is I will go ahead after all and move some tanks, the tanks up right away. Yeah, so there might be a little bit of pushback for a little bit, but then we'll be better off. Okay, advanced artillery upgrade. Great, we finished that chain. I mean, we might want rocket artillery, anti-tank, different things like that, uh, but for now we're okay. Plus, if we want anti-tank, we can get it from over here. I still don't have the 50% discount, and I really want to take advantage of that. How far are we from that? Er, too long. You can, you can bank 30 days worth of research. Uh, we'll have something else coming up soon, so that's going to be okay. Do we want to get the next level of recon, which is really powerful? We don't have the um, the signal companies either, which are quite good for giving extra initiative, which I believe increases the rate at which you can reinforce. 
Oh, no, but we want to get the rest of the industrial stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So let's do that. So you guys have finished that. Good. So you'll redistribute. Make sure to get in here quickly, actually. I don't want to, like, lose a mountain that we we fought to win. I'll probably want to restructure the front line as well. I'm going to do that now, since everyone's already moving anyway. Okay, I'm going to tell everyone to halt by hitting H. And I will get rid of this front line. And, well, here's a good question. Where the hell... Or this offensive line. What the hell do we want to push to? There's really no other targets over here. Probably to something like, tell you what, let's let's take the rest of the mountains here. And use that to hold what we've got. Yeah, there's actually, and yeah, I'm doing that without my Alpine division. Would I just be happier just holding what we've got here? Let's take a look. Is there any more oil to be had? No, we have the victory point. There's no more oil. I don't think there's anything to gain over here. All right, I'm going to keep you with the plan, but I'm going to make sure you're not a executing it. So again, I might just want to load a bunch of Alpine divisions over here. Well, let's let's secure the front line as is. And then, yeah, we can continue consider moving the tanks out somewhere else. Here, we've almost finished moving through the mountains, so this would be an excellent place to grab the Alpine divisions out of. I'm not sure you're going to get there first. I think the straight crossing is quite slow, and then I'm worried that you're going to be attacking across the straits. Well, I can always tell you to retreat should that happen. All right, they're being attacked here again, but we are going to hold probably for now. I mean, they probably can get re, uh, reinforced from reserves there, but we're still going to be okay. Um, okay, good. Not actually a straight crossing. Um, I'm going to add... Okay, you. Who are you? Do this. Oh, you only have two. Tell you what, I'm going to add this area to the garrison anyway. Even though it doesn't really make much sense right now. Which is going to require... Oh, that's... Sure, whatever. Be nice to have some air support over here. So we are going to be able to hold the port-ish. Which is important. Heh, <laughs> it's important. And what I could do is just pull back across the strait here. Oh, man, it's attrition. Okay. That's this purple group here. We still really need the Alpine Divisions for now, but what else can I pull away from here? I'm going to get some regular infantry to join up over there, because we still want to pull the tanks out of this. But I don't want to pull back the tanks until we've um, we've enforced this a little bit better. They got marine units over here. That's an interesting choice. So they're going to try to push into here, but we do have entrenchment. What? Are you oh, that is part of that defense. Seems like you have a lot of troops there, though. But I guess I don't really want to change your front line. I don't know if this would influence where they're going to prioritize standing. I'm just going to move the offensive line to something like that. Actually, hang on. I'm going to redraw the offensive line to this instead. Again, we may not actually be pushing here. There's a lot of troops. They are getting attritioned like mad, which is great. And my people aren't really getting attritioned over here anymore, which is very nice. Um, I think I'm going to liberate the infantry. I, mean, I don't know if just these Alpines would be able to hold this, but I'm willing to bet they could for a very long time. And so I think it might be good. We are still pushing all over here. Okay, regular infantry, join up over there. That's going to be fine. Because the push in here is worthwhile for a couple of reasons. One, there are more resources to get here. Not tons, but they are there. And also a lot of cities, including very important cities for us to grab. Alright, we're not getting any notices about amphibious assaults. I will check the coast just in case something landed at some point. And I missed it, but we seem to be okay. 
So that's good. Airplanes and reserves is all good and fine. I'm going to do this because it'll open up a second front actually for these units and help and make them last a little bit more. Field hospital's done, yeah. See, I would have wanted that a million years ago. Um, because the trickle back. So this means of the casualties you suffer in combat, you get 10% of them. Actually, at your base, 20% of them don't just die and, and, you know, return home and are no longer available as manpower. Right, because it's not the ones who die, necessarily. Or it's the ones who were shot, but died from infection or bleeding out or different things like this. So this prevents 20% of our fatalities, plus reduces some of the experience loss that you get when you some of your people die. Uh, so more levels of field hospital would be really nice. But... Uh, right, so this finished raising our efficiency cap. This would let us grow to our cap faster or let us retain more faster. They're mutually exclusive, but the cap is the important part. So I actually may not worry about this level as much. Let's take a look at our land doctrines. Oh, we did finish land doctrines. Okay, that's good. Air doctrines? Not quite. But I don't think we have to rush to those, which is probably why we're not doing it. Okay, I think if we're going to use the field hospitals, we do need them to be better. We have a wicked shortage of manpower. That is really sucky. I'm going to add field hospitals, I think, to like all my divisions. Because we have to stop that bleeding. I don't know how important it is. Um, uh, not with you. The Marines? Maybe. It means we'll need a few more convoys and maybe a little bit more time to do the invasion, but it doesn't make you not die as much. So I'm going to call that pretty important. Hopefully that didn't put us over for support equipment. It did actually. Ooh. Field hospitals apparently require a lot of support equipment. Oh, also, we're not really producing many. I'm going to put it up to the top of the queue here. Because, yeah, we definitely want to fill that up. All right, these guys are still holding, which is nice. These guys are actually going to be... Oh! Missed that. Now, oh, I wish I could stop them from taking this naval base. Oh, I guess they're going to get supplies in over here regardless. Hmm. All right, let's do this, because we're actually going to have to help these guys. Yeah, who just got wiped out. Okay, that's a little win, which is nice. Um, let's make this one proper. Halt. Execute plan when you can. And I'm going to have you join the plan. Yeah, so we got stack wiped over here. Really, 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 really bad. And there too. Super duper bad. I mean, we're still pushing in here, but we don't have, like... We don't have the ability to spend manpower like that. We are pushing well everywhere else, though. And yeah, we'll just try to hold this a little bit better. If we can retake that port, all the best. But as long as we hold Sevastopol, we're going to call that a relative win. But yeah, that that is kind of painful. And if I just if I hadn't been as greedy, if I just, just held a couple of ports and not moved up, maybe reinforced over here, I don't know. I mean, the fact that this is not a straight crossing is just, just really horrendous. Um, I'm going to tell you to stop your offense. You're going to just... I'm going to encourage them to dig in an entrenchment over here, which will probably be better. These guys are still getting attrition like crazy. Some of my people are as well, though. Uh, Team Purple, you can you not reach where you want to go? Oh, yeah, you would exceed the supply count. Which is pretty legit. Now, these guys, see, they're... Well, we're going to have to put a cut in here. What the hell is this?
and delete that because that is looking pretty silly. Oh, I guess I think it's because it doesn't actually have a front here. Now this is interesting. Yeah, finish your move. We might be able to manually snag that. I do. We got to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.